Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. In today's stupid R trick, I'm gonna show you the identify command. Now sadly, I haven't been able to get this to work on either RStudio Cloud or RStudio on Windows desktop machine. Now it'll work, but it doesn't actually function correctly. And I'll describe that after we see this. So I'm in plain old vanilla R here and if you want, you can find the link in the video description and you can download this code, although it's not a whole lot of code. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the mass library available here. And then I'm gonna make a copy of the 93 cars data in there that has data on 93 cars with things like prices and horsepower and trunk room and things like that, leg room. And then we're gonna make a scatter plot. And there we go. And I'll put this scatter plot window down here and I'll stretch it out a little bit. So now the identify command. The identify command, when you have made a scatter plot already, you tell it basically the same X value and the same Y value that's in the scatter plot. And then you can tell it the tolerance. Now in the documentation, it says tolerance is within how many inches you have to find a point which doesn't make any sense. Inches is not really a dimension that R is gonna know anything about. How does it know how big your screen is? I wish that this was in some sort of units like pixels. And then optionally, here you can have N equals, and this tells R how many points you want to identify. So you can set that to anything you want. If you don't set this, then it will keep going until you hit the escape key, I believe. So let's run this last command. And then we see the hourglass, it's waiting for something. And so now we can come in this graph and we can click points that we want to identify. So say this one and this one, and maybe this one, click and it labels it with the row number. Now we can actually also change this to label it with something else. So let me add that to the command. So here I added the labels command, cars dat dollar sign model. And we don't have to do this, but let's make a fresh plot. You can reuse the same plot if you want to. And now let's paste this new and improved identify command and now it should label them with the model of the car so click 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 so the rx7 q45 190e and of course we could always identify three more just run the command again And just for fun, we'll do three more. Escort, Lumina APV. That's your stupid R trick for the day. Identify command. What makes it particularly stupid is it works in base R, but it's hard to get it to work in RStudio or RStudio Cloud. So let me just show you what happens when you try this in our Studio Cloud. So I've already made the library available and I've got a copy of the cars dat already. So let's make a scatter plot here. Let's make this window a little bigger. All right, running the identify command. And let's try this one. No point within one inches. This one. This one, this one, this one, there's no point within one inches for some reason, no matter where we click. I mean, we can try to get right in the middle of a clump of points, no point within one inches. The only way I can get this to pretend like it's identifying a point is if I go down way down here below the graph and start clicking, then sometimes it seems to register something. There we go. So I was clicking down here and it registers points way up here. If you have any ideas about how to get our Studio Cloud or our Studio on Windows to do this accurately, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, do you have any stupid art tricks that you'd like me to highlight on these videos? If so, please let me know and I'll be happy to include them. That's all for this video. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.